So today we're going to evaluate a limit. It's a double sided limit of a rational function, and it is the limit as t approaches 2 from both sides of t cubed uh, plus 3t squared minus 12t plus 4. All over, uh, sorry, t cubed minus 4t. So the first thing we would need to do as evaluating any limit is we need to examine the form. It can reveal a lot, tell us where we need to go. So as t approaches 2 from both sides, when we cube t, we get an 8. I mean, two, cube 2, we get an 8, plus 3 times 2 squared, which is 4, which is 12. So we have 8 plus 4 is 20, minus 12 times 2 is 20 minus 24, which is negative 4, and then plus, and I'm just going to rewrite this so you can see it a little better, plus 4, so you have a minus 4 plus 4 is 0, so our form is 0, and then on the bottom is a little easier, uh, 2 cubed is 8 minus 4 times 2 is 8, so we have 8 minus 8 is 0, so we have the form 0 over 0. Uh, we have a rational function, the ratio of two polynomials. Uh, there's no trick about the powers or anything here. Uh, basically, you're going to try. You're going to try to have to factor. Um, that's would be my key to think of. And I see right away that the numerator looks a little hairy. I might try factor by grouping, but I, actually, on on quick inspection, I can tell that it's not going to work. But I can factor that denominator fairly quickly. Uh, so, doing that, we have the limit as t, I'm sorry, approaches 2 for both sides, and we can factor a t out of the denominator, leaving t times t squared minus 4, which again could be factored. We have t cubed plus 3t squared minus 12t plus 4 on the top. Factoring uh, the denominator once again. And there's a reason why I'm factoring this denominator first like this rather than tackling the top. You'll see in a second. So we st still have uh, t cubed plus 3t squared minus 12t plus 4, the numerator. We have t and then t squared minus 4. Hopefully you recognize that that's the different difference of perfect squares and factors into t minus 2 times t plus 2. Now we need to try to factor the numerator. Um, we can try factoring by grouping. Uh, it won't work. I'm just making sure. No, it won't. Um, we, uh, I'm trying to arrange it in different ways. Uh, it won't. If we arrange it as it, see, as, uh, as it appears there, it wouldn't if we uh, moved the 4 with the t cubed. It's, it's, we're not going to get anything anything out of that. So um, there's nothing really left to do but use synthetic division in order to, well you can use long division but I'm going to use it in the form of synthetic division because it's quicker, um, factoring the numerator. And if you'll remember we list the coefficients of a constant. If there's one missing we use it as a zero in descending order so we have Usually we put a little box here. This is going to be uh, what we divide, the number we use to divide into. Um, we have 1, 3, negative 12, and positive 4. We know before we do anything, we're going to pull that 1 down. Uh, possible rational um, uh, roots of that numerator will be uh, factors, of in low, uh, factors of 4 since the uh, leaning coefficient is 1. We only have to really worry about factors of 4, uh, positive and negative factors. So we have positive and negative 1, positive and negative 2, and positive and negative 4. 1 times 4 is 4, 2 times 2 is 4, uh, and so and so forth. Um, we could start with 1. A lot of times people do. It's the easy one. But notice that this is why I factored the denominator first. Um, notice that both positive 2 and negative 2 are uh, 
zeros or roots of the denominator. So I know that's pretty much what I'm going to, I know that uh, uh, zero will not be a factor. Uh, T equals zero will not be a factor in uh, in the numerator already. I mean, it's, it's proven right here. We, we just don't see it. So uh, I'm trying to get rid of either uh, that T minus two or T plus two. So that's the one I'm going to choose. Um, I'm going to choose, the, I could choose the positive or negative first, it doesn't matter. I'm going to choose the positive, I don't know why, because it's in the plus minus sign, it's the one on top, I don't know. Uh, no, no better reason than that. Uh, so we have two right there, we begin by multiplying this, uh, the two times the one that we've carried down, and we write it right here. We add these two numbers, three plus two is five, we multiply two times five again, getting ten. We add once again, and we get a negative 2, and we say 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, 4 minus 4 is 0. That's what we wanted. When we get a 0 in this place, means that we can factor that numerator, and I'm just going to go right back into the limit over here when I do it, as um, t, oops, sorry, t minus 2 times, and since we started with the cube, we can use these as the coefficients and descending uh, powers of uh, t, starting with t squared, because 1 times t squared is t squared, plus 5t minus 2 is how, this is the, if you multiply this out and expand it, you'll get right back to the original numerator. Now we have t times t minus 2 times t plus 2. Um, it should be apparent pretty easily that this doesn't factor t squared plus 5t minus 2 doesn't factor nicely anyway. Um, uh, you could you uh, rationally you could look at it really quickly and I mean there are no two factors of negative 2 that add up to positive 5. Not that I, I know of anyway. Um, you could also uh, use the discriminant and the quadratic formula and say b squared is you actually do get a real number, but it's definitely not going to be t plus 2 or t minus 2 or the factor isn't, and it's definitely not going to be t, so you pretty much can rule that out. Uh, and also we'll look at the form once we cross these factors out. Now we'll look at that form at this point. Uh, I'm going to write this over here because I think it makes a little bit more sense. The form here, now we have as t approaches two from both sides, t squared, which is four, plus uh, uh, five times two, which is 10. So we have 14 minus two is 12. And on the bottom, we have two times two plus two, which is four, two times four is eight. So that's the form, that's not indeterminate. So therefore, we can say that the limit as t approaches two of, um, I was going to rewrite it. I'm just going to rewrite it. Um, of t cubed plus 3 t squared minus 12t plus 4 divided by t cubed minus 4t. You don't have to recopy it in this form. You can recopy it in this form. You could just erase that form and word that I put there and, and uh, just put it there. I'm just putting it here for space. Equals 12 over 8 as we've just shown right here and then we can we usually like things in uh, simplest uh, reduced form so there's a common factor of 4 in both of those leaving 3 over 2 and that in fact is the limit